How's everybody doing? My name is Anthony Brian Logan, and today I bring you some news about the Boy Scouts of America. I did a video previously about them and about certain people that they're going to admit. I'll talk about that after we get done introducing the topic here. But today we're talking about girls now being admitted into the Boy Scouts and they're able to reach the rank of Eagle Scout, which is like the pinnacle of Boy Scouting. So what I'm going to do right now is going to roll this clip from NBC News and they'll give you a little bit more in-depth background into the situation that's going on right now. After we get done watching that, after we get done digesting that information, we'll come back. I'll discuss that video and then I'll talk about the Boy Scouts in a greater context. Also, the Girl Scouts and also some previous things going on with the Boy Scouts that may or may not have led up to this point. So without further ado, go ahead and roll it. After more than 100 years, you no longer have to be a boy to be a Boy Scout. Reason for the change is that our parents have asked for options to serve their whole family. A unanimous decision that starting next year, girls can join Cub Scouts, but will be in girl-only dens. Girl dens and Boy Scouts start in 2019 with a path to the coveted Eagle Scout. They will have the opportunities for an advancement track that is identical to Boy Scouting, but maintains the opportunities for them to have leadership with their own girl gender. The move intensifying a growing feud with the Girl Scouts. In August, the Girl Scouts president sent a letter to the Boy Scouts, accusing them of a covert campaign to recruit girls away from the Girl Scouts, calling the proposed plan reckless. Today, they went even further. I talked to the general counsel today, and they are exploring what type of legal actions can be taken, perhaps to get them to retract their congressional charter. The move comes with the Boy Scouts seeing a fairly steady decline in membership over the past 20 years. But for 16-year-old Sydney Ireland, it's nothing but good news. It's indescribable how great it feels. She's longed to be an Eagle Scout, like Neil Armstrong, Steven Spielberg, and her big brother. Everybody should have the ability to be part of such a great organization. Now she says she'll get her shot, and she doubts she'll be alone. Kristen Dahlgren, NBC News, New York. Okay, so you saw that, you're able to see that. Now this really, if you've been watching my channel for a while, if you've been following the Boy Scouts for a while, this should be of no surprise to you because like I said before, I did a video about them a while ago. It may have been a few months ago. I'm not quite sure exactly when that date was, but I'll put that video in the description box below where I talked about how the Boy Scouts are going to admit transgender, air quotes, transgender boys into the Boy Scouts. So at that point, it was no longer just for boys because if you have a transgender boy, that is a girl dressed as a boy. So naturally, the next thing would be to admit just straight up girls into the Boy Scouts. This is not anything that surprises me. It's very unfortunate that you're going to have the Boy Scouts no longer be the Boy Scouts. I said back then that the Boy Scouts have died due to the transgender admittance. But now this is like the nail in the coffin because it's not going to be the Boy Scouts anymore. They might as well just change the name away from the Boy Scouts since you're not just going to have boys in the group anymore. Change it to the Scouts and just remove the whole gender labels. Do not assume anybody's gender. Don't get anybody triggered or upset. And then beyond them admitting girls, just regular girls, like I said, they're going to have transgender boys who are just girls dressed as boys who so-called identify as boys. And before that, you had the homosexuals that were admitted into it, you know, the homosexual adults. I mean, what could go wrong with that? You're going to have homosexual adults in the camps with boys, transgender boys, girls and everything else. Now, what they've said is that the dens are going to be separate, which to me doesn't make any sense. It's like, OK, you're going to have girls admitted to the Boy Scouts, but the girls are still going to be separate. So why not just have two different organizations, right? Why link the girls to the boys if the girls are going to be separate? And I'm not saying that the girls and boys should be together. Of course, keep them separate. But why have them under the same umbrella as the Boy Scouts of America? Now, this is where the Girl Scouts come in. Like I said, we got to talk about them. You know, they got the Girl Scout cookies and stuff like that. There is a Girl Scouts organization that exists right now. 
The issue is that the Girl Scouts of the USA and the Boy Scouts of America are not the same organization. They were founded right around the same time as each other, probably from some of the similar or same people that founded each were involved with each right around 1910, 1912, you know, over 100 years ago. But they are not the same organization. As you saw in that video, the Girl Scouts of America are like, hey, what's going on? Is this? You know, are you are you tampering with our uh, potential recruits? Are you trying to steal our business? Because the fact is that the Boy Scouts of America are having lower enrollment rates. I think something like 20 percent lower. I wonder why. Maybe it's because you have transgender boys and homosexual men in there with the boys, making it a very dangerous and weird situation. But I digress. Whatever the case may be for the lower enrollment rates, they're trying to bolster it by doing whatever they can, even pretty much abandoning the whole model of Boy Scouts and admitting girls and transgender boys, homosexual men, et cetera, et cetera, so on and so forth. So I think the Girl Scouts are feeling the pinch. They're upset because they're taking away their whole business. I mean, at the end of the day, the Girl Scouts should be for girls and the Boy Scouts should be for boys. It shouldn't be any tampering of either organization. And I doubt that we're going to see any boys into the Girl Scouts, but maybe we would. I'm not quite sure. If I'm wrong about that, let me know in the comments below. But maybe you'll see some transgender, so-called transgender girls in the Girl Scouts. And then that'll be their, you know, transition into being an all-inclusive thing. It's really weird nowadays in 2017 where you have groups that are specifically for certain genders and have been that way for over 100 years now just evolve into into nothing. You know, you could just have anybody on and it's not really a big deal. Boy Scouts, Girl Scouts, you know, the whole gender thing. It's, it's going to get to a point where even calling somebody a boy or a girl identifying the correct biological gender may be offensive. You might even get locked up for it. Just like in California, you see what's going on where they say if you intentionally transmit HIV to someone, like if you know you have HIV and then you have sex with somebody with no protection, that right there is no longer a felony. It's a misdemeanor. They want to so-called decriminalize HIV. But yet, if you misgender somebody, if you call somebody by the wrong gender, let's say you got somebody that's six foot eight, 300 pounds. They're obviously a male, but they got a wig on their head. And they might be wearing a pair of high heels. If you call them sir, you might get locked up for that or get some kind of fine or stiff penalty. You see, where are we really going in America where our priorities are so crazy that we're focused on uh, gender and stuff like that to the point where it hurts the average person? You know, you want to go to the restroom, you had a baseball game. Like if you're a woman and you're taking your daughter to the restroom at a baseball game, you got some big, you know, linebacker looking dude in there with a dress on talking about he's transgender. And if you get upset at me being here, then you're a bigot and you're a homophobe, you're a transphobe, you're an other ob or whatever ob ober is they want to use against you. It's really weird, but I just hope that other organizations in America other schools don't follow down this same road. Unfortunately, I think I saw Spelman College in Atlanta, which is a black college for women, is now accepting transgender girls. I see that going on right now. Hopefully this does not spread too much. And as I close, I want to say this. Things like this going on with the Boy Scouts, with the transgender so-called transgender girls being admitted into an all-girls school. These are the reasons why Trump was elected because we're tired of seeing our country go down a toilet. We don't want to have this thing become something that's popular and gets out of control. It's like a snowball going downhill. As it accelerates, it just accumulates more and more snow. Then it becomes some kind of gigantic force that cannot be stopped. So, I just hope that this whole thing really just subsides. It's unfortunate that the Boy Scouts of America has died and the whole thing with admitting girls is a final nail in the coffin. So what do you think? Are you a Boy Scout? Have you been associated with the Boy Scouts? What was your highest rank? Have you become an Eagle Scout? What do you think about what's going on with the Boy Scouts? How does it really affect you? Are you in the Boy Scouts right now as an adult or, you know, a child? What do you think about your situation, your status going forward? Are you going to stay with the organization? Are you going to denounce them? 
Or are you in the Girl Scouts? Have you been involved with the Girl Scouts before? Have you been selling the Girl Scout cookies and stuff like that? What do you think about this situation with girls that should be in the Girl Scouts now being recruited to go to the Boy Scouts? The Boy Scouts of America and the Girl Scouts of the USA are not the same organization. Do you believe there's some kind of power struggle going on between the two of them? How do you feel that it's affecting you, just the average person? Whatever your comments are, let me know in the comments below. And that's all I got to say for this video. If you like what you heard, please comment, rate, share, and subscribe. Peace.